Hey everyone, it's Eric from Shuckabuck, and in this video I want to show you a couple different stores on Etsy that are doing well over $50,000 in their first year. And this store right here that I'm showing you, this cool cases uh, for cool people type thing, this frosty covers guy, he's doing over $50,000 in sales in less than three months. I really don't know how I came across this, but I was just going on Etsy and I was looking for phone cases because my wife actually bought a couple new phone cases. I'm like, why did you buy two? Um, she said because she liked both designs and she, and she just bought them. I'm like, that's interesting because when I buy a phone, I only buy one case and literally it lasts me probably the lifetime of the phone, which is really weird. So if people are buying more than one, that's great. Um, so I started doing some research on Etsy. She actually bought hers on Amazon. But I did some research on Etsy and I found this store. They're selling for $15, $14.64, all of these cases. He only has 62 products up total. Um, but here's the thing, that number is a little off because each listing has five different designs, like five or six different designs. So he has technically about 300-ish products up. And it said on Etsy since 2020. So I'm like, well, well, that's interesting because... He has over 3,500 sales. And literally, I saw this store a couple days ago. He only had, it was 3,430 sales. So in the last few days, he's had over 100 sales. So actually, I did that math wrong. He, he did like 75 sales in the last couple days, which is amazing. Even if you're making just a few dollars profit per item. Um, it just means that a lot of these are selling really well. Obviously, if you go to the, the homepage of, of these Etsy stores, you can see their best sellers right here. But what you want to do is you want to sort by uh, most recent. And I just want to figure out how many sales he's had since he started the store. So I'm just going to scroll down because the top ones are the most recent. I'll go to the last page and I'll go to the very first design that he published. And I'm not sure what app this is. I get questions about it all the time. But I don't know where this data is coming from up here. It says shop and product. But it tells me it was created July 1st of 2020, which means since July and today as I'm recording this it's late on September 22nd 2020 and so that's less than three months and he's had 3,506 sales so 3506 times his price of his phone which is 1464 that gives you $51,000 in sales in just three months. So he's doing $17,000 a month, probably a little more than that right now because I'm guessing he started his store and it didn't get many sales at first, but once the ball gets rolling, then you're gonna get more and more sales organically. Now, I can't see what he's doing on the back end. Obviously, he's going, he, he might be doing some advertising, which is possible. So let's just type in, uh, this and let's just do um, let's just see if he's running any ads for this and I don't see his ad up here it, uh, the top four are ads and these are not ads and here is his actual product so I really I don't think he's running a lot of ads honestly if I if I keep scrolling down I'll try and find more ads here's ad 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 see see still not there and he's not on the bottom. So um, I believe these are all organic sales. Now, I tried to look up his name um, on the internet and I couldn't find anything if he had an audience or not. So if you wanted to look into that, you could. But this guy is doing really well. You know, whoever he is, he's doing really well with his store. Now, let me go back to the actual homepage and I'm going to show you how he has this set up. Now, he has his categories um, as the specific niche of the designs. Now, and he's also selling only one product. So he's focusing on phone cases. Now, that's probably a good thing. I think you can do this, uh, your Etsy store, in a number of ways. You could have a general store where you're selling all print-on-demand products like everything from t-shirts to phone cases to wallets, backpacks, sandals. You could do it that way and have each category uh, the product that you're selling or you can do it the way he's doing it which is having his categories as the niche so these are modern he has nature uh, uh, designs he has painting he has animals so each one of these is kind of uh, a niche on its own and like I said he's only selling one product and then you could actually do that so you could set up um, instead of selling every product under the sun you could set up 
a store where you're only selling one product. Maybe it's coffee mugs and you just specialize in designs of coffee mugs and you create different categories for the different niches that you post in. And then kind of the third way you could do it is to be in one niche. Maybe you just create modern designs like this and everything is just modern designs, whatever whatever niche that is, I have no idea. That's probably a bad, uh, bad call, but maybe you're in the animals niche and it's just purely uh, dogs and you could put all types of dogs in this category and you can sell all different types of products so I think there's no real wrong way to create an Etsy store because I've seen stores do really well who sell who sell everything in every niche I've seen stores do well where they are selling in just one niche and selling lots of products I've seen stores like this where they sell one product in lots of different niches. So I don't think there's a wrong way to set up your Etsy store. Um, the only thing I would say about this store is that when you click, let's click on one of these. And this is kind of a bad example because this is actually what I would do. Um, let me go to a different product like this one, this, uh, these types of designs should be their own listing. So every design should have their own listing. And then I would do different colors of the background. So, you know, the background could be black or white or uh, purple or yellow. They could choose that. And then I think his images are a little bit vague. He's just showing how they look on different phones. What I would do with these images is show what the material of the phone case is. So I would order samples from my supplier and actually take my own photos, like bending it. Maybe these are those rubber texture type uh, phone cases and they bend a little bit. People want to see what the actual product looks like and feels like. So that's what I would do differently. I would add in some some blank stuff here, just seeing like some close-ups of what the actual product is, if it's a hard case or a soft case or something like that. And that really depends on what product you are selling. I think coffee mugs, you know, everybody knows what a coffee mug is. All you have to do is show a picture of, of what it looks like and if it's a eight ounce or a 16 ounce or whatever. Um, and that's fine, but I think with, with phone cases, he should show them what the actual material is made out of and how it looks in your hand. And then I found this store too, it's Wild Gussie, I believe it's called, and they've been on Etsy since 2019. And I went to their most recent and I actually uh, went to the back and they've, they started in, oh, we are on page 27. They started in, once this loads, January of 2015 or tw January 15th of 2020. So just less than, you know, less than a year. This is nine months or almost 10 months, months I should say. And they've done 13,538 sales on a $16 pro uh, product. So let's do five. 13,538 times 1584. So they've done $214,000 in sales in nine months. So that's an average of about $24,000 a month. That is, that's crazy to even, to even look at. Now, if we, if we look at their Etsy store on the left in their categories, I don't like how their categories are set up. It's AirPods, iPhone, Samsung, Google Pixel. You could put all that stuff in each individual listing. What I want to see here is the actual niche that this is in. Like this is a stars and wood. You could have like a galaxy and stars category. Um, so if people are interested in specific types of designs, it's really easy to find. Like if I had an iPhone, I want to go iPhone cases. Now I have to go through and she has 93 of them. Now I have to go through how many pages is that? Three pages um, to see which one I like best. And most of these I don't really, you know, like maybe I'm only interested in uh, skeleton and skull type of designs. That's what I want to see over here on the left. So that's what I would do. Other than that, this person is really killing it. This Jess girl whoever this is, is really killing it on Etsy. And um, again, this is getting multiple five-star reviews in the last uh, seven days. So if you're trying to sell on Etsy, the thing is to find someone who's already doing it. So if you want to do cell phone cases, look at their products, look and see what their customers are saying about the products. Like look at the reviews and make sure that there isn't anything that you could improve upon. And then look at their best-selling designs and try and create designs around that specific niche. Like this one is rainbow watercolor. You could create a lot of different rainbow watercolor designs. Obviously, 
don't just steal this design, but rainbow watercolor could be something that people are searching for related to, to phone cases. So maybe that should be one of your categories. So yeah, I just wanted to, to throw this video out there and uh, just let you know what's going on kind of on the Etsy side of things. And I just thought it was really interesting to see that these phone case stores are just popping up and they're doing really, really well in their first year, which is which is crazy to me. So let me know in the comments what you think. One more thing I wanted to mention in this video, I did start a, uh, or I created a free uh, course. So it's the print on demand formula. So I go through how to choose a niche, find profitable, profitable designs, creating unique designs, my top five suppliers, creating mock-ups, generating consistent sales. So if you wanna grab that, you can go to shuckabuck.com and sign up for that. It's free. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.